Hi, I'm Canadian artist Roxanne Jervis, and I was at a workshop where we were supposed to use the fewest number of colors possible. And when I look in the camera, this painting does not come up as rosy as what it is in real life. This has got a lovely warm hue with a burnt sienna background, and when you mix it with the whites, it's this very gorgeous, gorgeous color, and I don't know how to make the camera look better. But some of the colors that I used in here, first of all, I did the underpainting with titanium white, and then we started with a burnt sienna or an iron oxide red. Burnt sienna is the base of most of this painting. We did a total wash on here with a burnt sienna to look. Now most people didn't do monochromatic quite like mine. The thing about the composition here is you need to have a resting spot for the eye and the resting spot is right in here in the middle. The sky we have left more of that rosy color and did some ultramarine blue. In here we've we've taken a little bit of lemon yellow and mixed it with the burnt sienna to get these soft tones in here. And as we move forward, you see that there's the blues here, but I don't clean my brush off in between picking up the color. So when you pick a color that looks really good, we dabbed in the hill in the background later because the burnt sienna and whatever I had on my brush made it a mauve tone. In here I scratched in through the wet paint with the end of my palette knife and that's a really fun thing to do because you just take your palette knife and when your paint is wet and with acrylic you can do this but you have to do it immediately because it dries too fast and you just draw up here with the tip of your palette knife and that gets you right back to the white canvas. So you can see this bit of a branch that's fallen in the water here. That was scratched out. I've scratched out a few wee bits of the branches through the paint here. And that's how I do that with my palette knife. Going on then, I've used Stronger Burnt Sienna, but again, because of the other colors on the brush, you get these varying tones. And I pick up Olive Green, working that with the ultramarine blue to get these lovely strong transparent shades. There's no white mixed in with here. And then to top it off with a little bit of the lemon yellow and sap green, just to give a few little bits where the light is coming through the trees. And also down in here to pick up a little bit of light. That's not very many colors to work with, but I find sometimes the fewer colors you have, the more warmth you get with your painting because you're all in the same palette, the eye is not having to struggle. The only thing again is I wish that this could pick up the beautiful rich tones of the burnt siennas and I'll see what I, whether I can capture any coming closer. See the burnt sienna with the white scratched in behind? There is the sap green on top of the ultramarine and the olive green. The tree trunks you do not put in first. Kind of give it an idea with a scratch, but your, your tree trunks too should not just be brown. You notice there's a little bit of an orange tone in there. The orange tone is actually burnt sienna with that lemon yellow again. The reflections. I put the paint on the palette knife and draw the paint straight down until I run out of paint right off the bottom of the canvas, but I do not mix it. I let the transparent colors work through. So you can see how crisp and clean the transparent colors are. And then you can take some titanium white on the edge of your blade and just very carefully cut it into the reflection. And that's your water ripples. There you can see I've scratched in some of the under branches of these trees. And this is all done with a palette knife, with the exception of the tree trunks. So now I'll go back and let you have a good look at this painting again. See how rich it is here when I get it back here? Right here. It's too far from the camera and the painting turns gray. One day I will do a monochromatic painting. One other thing, my little tidbit at the end, all this underbrush in here, all these lines, should show you close the blues. See those blue lines in there? That 
is ultramarine blue on the edge of my blade and then I just put the blue on top of whatever the background colors are. Over here I put a little bit of gray and it's so much easier than having to paint every little stroke with your brush. Thanks for watching. See you next time.